The rescue is an invitation for people to rekindle the flame of faith, to again recall what brought them to the initial testimony, and to continue to press forward so that their conversion becomes deeper. That's the work of the rescue. I had always asked the Father, why had I come to earth? And one day some sister missionaries knocked on my door. I decided to give up ties. Two years later, the Lord touched my husband's heart. Along the way I learned, and the truth is, I did like it. I knew that what I was doing was for the benefit of my family. I know now that the adversary works, and he works hard to distance us from church, and he accomplished that with me. It was hard to see that he didn't want to come to church. It was hard that he wouldn't want to learn the same things that I was learning in church. I was the bishop during this time. Sister Monica conveyed her worries about her family. And it was then that I decided to bring the case before the work council. We asked other members, including home teachers, to go and invite Victor to church activities. I didn't want to come back. I wouldn't invite them in. I'd tell them to come another day, that I was too busy, but they kept coming. They never gave up. We wanted him to use his knowledge and abilities to help us in the church. They invited me to participate with the young men, so I started going more frequently to church, helping the stake by going to different wards to give them training. He felt useful. He liked contributing. He went little by little, making the decision by himself. We started doing family home evening together. He was there with us. It was time for a change. It was time to start working, to get things in order and to give service. And the important thing is, I have three kids. And well, I wanted them to do the right thing. And with what I was doing, I knew that sooner or later, they would fall away from the church. And everything my wife had worked for would be thrown away just because of my rebellion. And I said, it's time for a change because I want a different life for my kids. And so, here we are. I feel such a great excitement seeing that he gets up early, that he gets our kids up early and says, get ready because it's time to go to church. When I became active, they immediately assigned us a teacher so we could take the temple preparation course. El templo. The temple. For so long, I had worked towards that. When I was taking the course, I felt something inside me, very difficult to express. But in that moment, I felt like it really was the moment to come back. And being inside the temple, when we were sealed and they brought in my children, I wouldn't exchange that moment for anything because we're sealed for eternity. My wife and children and I. In that moment, you forget all the difficulties that they were to get to the temple. I had dreamed of the temple for so long. When we are really converted to the gospel and do things correctly, the blessings begin to come. The Mexican people are a spiritual people. They're a believing people. Their nature is to, to believe in prayer, know they can get answers to their prayers, and the Lord loves them.